Hey guys, so we have just wandered into the Glasgow Necropolis. Um, it's about 3 a.m. Hi guys, thank you so much for tuning in to Tales from Amy's Crypt. Today I wanted to talk to you about my visit to the very haunted Glasgow Necropolis of Scotland. I'm super excited to tell you a little bit about the Glasgow Necropolis, which is considered to be one of the most haunted places in Glasgow. I've also got some really cool footage from my visit to the Glasgow Necropolis at night. I was crazy enough to go for a walk through that very spooky cemetery at 3 a.m. So stay tuned to see a little bit of that. The Glasgow Necropolis is sprawled across a prominent hill overlooking the city. It was established back in 1832, but since then has grown to hold over 50,000 bodies. There's some awesome monuments, uh, there's actually over 3,000 of those on the hill. Those are absolutely breathtaking, particularly the ones that sit right on top of the hill. One of the creepiest legends that surrounds the Glasgow Necropolis is that of a vampire. Now this vampire is commonly known as the Gorbals Vampire. It has been described as a beast that is seven foot tall and has sharp iron teeth. At the peak of this story circulation back in 1954, the Gorbals vampire was actually blamed for the deaths of two young local children. One night this spurred a horde of hundreds of school aged children to descend upon the Glasgow necropolis in the search of the Gorbals vampire. And these kids meant business too. They came armed with knives, they had stakes, and some of them even brought their dogs along. Eventually though, the police clued onto what was happening and broke up this gang. And then after that, the sale of horror comics that had made their way over from the US to Scotland was banned for sale to minors. So what do you think? Did the Gorbals vampire exist? Or did these kids just have really overactive imaginations? Vampires aside, many people believe that there are ghosts that roam the 37 acre area of this cemetery. While no one is really sure of who the Glasgow Necropolis ghosts actually are, there are a few that make quite frequent appearances, such as a woman in white who is often seen gliding through the tombstones very late at night. There is also rumoured to be statues adorning graves that move their facial features on their own accord. But then there are also disembodied voices and whispers reported all throughout the cemetery. I did get the chance to explore the Glasgow Necropolis at night. I found it really peaceful and beautifully still. So let's take a look at some footage. Hey guys, so we have just wandered into the Glasgow Necropolis. Um, it's about 3 a.m. This place is really still and eerie. Kind of beautiful at this hour. During the day, um, quite a lot of people come through here, but it's just nice to have it to yourself. Uh, we're gonna go towards the top um, and maybe try and reach out and see if we can make contact um, up there and just have a look around. So we are at the top of the hill of the Necropolis. Um, and it's a bit windy, but it's, in another sense, it's really still. And it's really beautiful at night with all the silhouettes of the tombstones and monuments here against the night sky. Alright guys, we're at the top of Glasgow Necropolis. Since it's quite windy up here, we're kind of taking refuge in this little doorway shelter of this uh, big mausoleum here. I'm going to try a spirit box. Um, I don't exactly know who I'm reaching out to, but we'll see if there's any spirits around. Hello, my name is Amy. Are there any... Are there any spirits around that want to communicate? Are you buried here at the necropolis? Can you tell me your name? Are you from Glasgow? Yeah. 
What are you doing here? How is it that you died? How long have you been here? Are you happy here at the moment? What is your name? Might give that one a rest and maybe try a different area of the cemetery. Whoa, it's massive. Do you want to torture him? Oh, oh the view behind you looks good. Enough on the camera, yeah. Alright, let's keep going down then. Explore a bit more. And this view. It's also on this side you get the city and then this side you get that graveyard on the hill. Alright, we're further down the hill now at the Glasgow Necropolis. Going to try another spirit box down here and see if uh, we get any different results. It's weird. It's so weird. Spirit box died. Alright, I guess that concludes our time at the Glasgow Necropolis. I'm heaps glad that we came here at night because there's no one here. Not a living soul in sight. That's pretty lame. <laughs> Thank you all so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please remember to like, comment any thoughts that you may have on this haunted place in Glasgow, and please subscribe. That way I can keep taking you to more of these creepy locations all around the world. If you're looking for a bit more reading on the Glasgow Necropolis, head to amyscrypt.com. I will post a blog there. And remember, until next time, stay spooky.